in darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. Team Championship. Once again, three more teams are going to be battling out for a place in our Championship semi-final. We'll have a chance to win a whole bunch of Mega Mungus prizes. Let's go and meet the teams straight away. Okay, first team, come out, come out, come out. Let, tell us who you are. This is the Dream Team. Young Chris. You're Chris, team young, captain. Young captain. Good luck, hey, Robert. Robert. James. James. Okay, Chris. Confident with your team? Yep. You see us, you see champions. Gonna win. We've got the Kirby Bossy Bay there. Yeah. Well done. OK, right, we're going to meet the next team. Good luck to you, chaps. So, through for this way. Come out, excuse me. Uh, come out, come out, don't be shy. Charlton crew. Here they are. Oh, I'm all hooked up on you. Sorry about that, mate. OK, here we go. Tell us your names. Steve. Steve? Godfrey. Godfrey, Joe. Joe. Right, so Steve, team captain, yeah? Yeah. So, what do you think of the other team, mate? They've got their posse down here with them. They're going to intimidate you, are they? No, they're both going down. They're both going down, yeah, the other teams, yeah. eh? Yeah. You're not worried, you two, no? No. No, no worries. No. OK, well, good luck to you all. Yes. Let's go and meet the green team. This way. Here we go, the final team, the green team, Team Perfection, they're called. Hmm, I'm sure they are. Come out, guys, and tell us your names. Matthew. Matthew. Simon. Simon. Stephen. Stephen. So, Matthew, you're the team captain? Yeah. You are? So, what would you say would be your specialist game tonight, then, for your team? All so, of like, them. All of them? Yeah. Yeah? You all confident you're going to do well on all of them? Nothing to worry me. Nothing yeah? to worry me. Nothing to worry you? Yeah, we're going to beat them all. You're going to beat them all? Going to kick us. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if you can say that, but he said it anyway. Right. So, let's give all the teams a big cheer. Hey, come on. Okay. Now, each captain chooses a player from his or her team to play a challenge in his or her specialist field. All right, I'm going to go over to the Games Master, find out exactly what this game is going to be. The platform challenge I selected is on Empire Strikes Back for the Super Nintendo. Your task is to collect as many points as possible by slaying bloodthirsty beasts with your light saber or blaster gun in the ice fields of Hoth. Five points will be awarded to the winner, two for the second place, and zero for the last. Jump to it. So, the Empire Strikes Back. We've got Robert of the Dream Team. He's up first. Dave, what's his form like? Well, Robert can do the time trial in Mario Kart in 56 seconds and claims to be able to do any level of Sonic in under 30 seconds. And he's a big boast, so it's time for him to put his joypad where his mouth is. Yeah, he's a flash git. OK, then, Robert, you've got 45 seconds to get as many points as you possibly can. Start your challenge now! Robert starts off this challenge there is. on the Tauntaun. There's he's basically he's got his lightsaber. Oh, that's smart. He's There's changed to a move. pistol, which means he can do a lot more damage. He can stay, on his, stay on his mount. Now, Put the empty bar on the top is the lightsaber. Now, you can see a little line inside he's the got got lightsaber, and as that goes down, that's his light ebbing away. Every time one of those monsters hits him, gone. he's losing some power, he's losing he's some force. He's doing very, very well. He's shooting a lot, killing all these pigs. They're worth 50 points each. By using his gun, like I say, he can stay on his Tauntaun. 30 it's seconds gone. Can't hurt him so much unless the pigs jump up, up like there. that. He's Come on, what's his point so well. far? He's got 850 so far. 850. Extremely 40 well. seconds gone. 5, 4, Come 3, on, he wants to raise 2, up. Find a few 1. Stop the challenge! That's good, 950. Next up, we've got Joe of the Charlton crew. Joe, if you're ready, start your challenge. Time's running out. Joe's off at his Tonton again. You see what he has to do. He's got to kill all these pigs. He's sticking with the lightsaber. But he has the option by using the A button to switch between the lightsaber and the blaster, which is an energy gun. He's got off this Tonton. Now, this means you can do a lot more damage, but look at the energy bar up at the top of the corner. When you're not on your Tonton, you've got a smaller energy bar, and all the hits are directly on you. He's just got a shield power up. He's got shields around him. He's done so much damage now. He's pretty invincible. The shield doesn't last forever. He's See still that? killing these pigs. He's really got a two time. Oh, he's point. doing well. Oh, those Darth Vader hours. Double the points of the next Getting animal. Down you the last five seconds. Oh, he's got the lightsaber. Four, that increases his energy. Three, bar. He's not going to die now. He wants one, to spit a lot of killer fuel. Stop the challenge! What a good score. 4,100. 
that's a phenomenal score, especially in comparison to Robert, who went first. How did, how did he manage to make his score so much bigger, Dave? Well, he was a lot braver. He got off the tonton. It made his energy bar was smaller, but he could pick up all the multipliers, and he was multiplying his score all along. Those Darth Vader helmets right. double your score. OK, so that's something for our next contestant to look out for. That's going to be Matthew of Team Perfection. Matthew is ready, and he's in position. Matthew, start your challenge. Off you go. Matthew's up on the on. He immediately jumps on. He's really, he's really watched what went before and he knows what he's up to now. He's shooting along the bottom, killing his pigs with the lightsaber. I love this game. He's not chosen to use the blaster yet. Chop it up. with the lightsaber. Very, very wise. Picking up the half nicely. There you are, two time point bonus. Right. It says when you pick up that helmet. So he scores that in nicely. between the scores. He's on the thousands already. He's got 25 seconds gone. Already he's in second place. He wants to go to first place now. He's doing very well. He's got a lot to make up. He's got the shield. Now all those pigs are worth 100 points each. You see now. Last 10 seconds. That makes it all the difference. They both have to get a gas down on five. Four. Three. Very well. He's tumbled down the ground. He's going to die there. Stop the challenge. He's been a big one here, buddy. That's it. 1,800 for Matthew. He just, he, well, he died, but he did have 45 seconds on the clock, so I suppose that still counts. All right, let's go over to the scoreboard and see what the current standings are. We've got the Dream Team in last position because they lost that challenge, so they've got nil point. Then we've got Team Perfection, they came second, so they get two points. And then we've got the Charlton Crew way in front with a massive five points. Woo! <laughs> OK, the crowd are feeling here going wild. We're setting up the consoles for the next challenge. So while we do that, you can watch the reviews. Take control of the all-time great boxing champions in Legends of the Ring on the SNES. Can you batter your opponent senseless, or will you get battered yourself? Seconds out. You've got a wide range of moves to block and punch. The controls are simple and intuitive, so it's easy to get to grips with. There's a reasonably good range of punches and blocks in the game, which all feel very good. But it's the strategy that makes it a really, really good game. Unfortunately, like most boxing games, it's a bit uh, two-dimensional. Despite the 3D effect of the graphics, the boxers can only move in one plane. Ever wanted to pilot a top-secret stealth bomber on a mission behind enemy lines? F-117 for the Mega Drive is a new flight sim that tries to put you into the hot seat. Lift off! Well. F-117 is a bog-standard flight simulator, and really, what more can you say? It's got a pretty standard mission setup, and um, so once you've mastered the basics, there's a pretty good learning curve, and playability is quite progressive. Do you really want to fly a plane that looks like a deformed kipper in several missions over enemy territory? It's time for our Room of the Future competition. This week, we're just doing a test message. Remember, you'll only be able to make out the words if you look through something red and transparent. The test message is coming up now. That's it. And those of you looking through something red should be able to make out the words Room of the Future starts next week. Got it? Next week, we'll have the first clue for you. Remember, the answer to all three questions is a number, and those numbers together make up a code that opens the door to the Room of the Future. Right, that was the reviews. Now we want to get on with the second challenge. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Oi, Games Master! The mystery challenge I've chosen is on the bonus boss level of the pinball game Dragon's Revenge for the Sega Mega Drive. Your task is to render the E-Rod 3 boss armless in the quickest time by blasting your ball at its branches. Spiders will emerge from its mouth to hinder your progress. But destroy these and your opponent will be left unprotected and ready for the top. Timber! So the game is Dragon's Revenge. We've got James of the Dream Team. He's up first. Uh, Dave, what's the SP on uh, James? Well, James has been playing for eight years since he was seven. So he's an experienced game player. Yeah. But this is, a, this is a game that needs steely nerves. And, of course, all the pressure's on him because he's got to keep his team in the championships. So James has got to beat one of the game's bosses in the quickest possible time. Here's my stopwatch. James! Start your challenge! <laughs> Top James go, there's the ball. He's only got one ball to have a go at this. All these spiders coming down from the trees. He wants to avoid those, he gets no points in that. The idea is to hit the tree, don't care about the animals. That's very good, you see the tree flinching when he hits it in the arm. The first thing to go will be those arms, the branches. He's not doing bad so far. 20 seconds gone. 
He's not lost the ball yet, though. That's the main thing. You've got to keep your nerve and don't keep lose the ball. With the challenge. That's the main thing. In a minute, there goes one of the yeah, arms. One. one of the branches is gone. Go on, James. He's doing very well. He's doing very shot. well. That was a good shot. Good shot. Not We've got 35 seconds gone. You've got the pressure on you. You're frightened about losing the ball. Go on, James. Oh, that's yes, he's punch. done it. 40 seconds dead. Okay, next up we've got Simon of Team Perfection. I'll clear the stopwatch. Now, Dave, what's the lowdown on Simon? He's not a brilliant player. He's a steady player. He's a steady player. Let's hope he makes a steady challenge. Well, there we go, then. Start your challenge. Off you go. The clock's running. Right, so the steel ball's down. Going to flick it up. Must have lost it. That was very, very dodgy. Very close. Caught him two pins, didn't he? Get rid of those spots. No. Oh, no, he's lost the ball. Oh, That's the end of his challenge. Yeah, Simon. Nine seconds on the clock. That's terrible team perfection. Dave, what do you reckon of that? That's a Hall of Shame contender, no doubt. Definitely. And that could cost his team qualification. Definitely. All right, well, let's hope not. Stephen's up next of the Charlton crew. OK, get ready then, Steve, to start your challenge. Go on, Steve. The Stephen's away. He's got the ball. All he's got to do is last for more than nine seconds now to secure get a second blasting. place to his side. Well, he's got past the nine second mark. No problem Brilliant. now. So now he wants to give us a nice display of games playing. The Charlton crew, they've been such a good team. Let's see. Come on, he's armless, mate. He's really armless. Nice really Watch let, them creepy crawlies. Take pole position. Take maximum 21 points seconds gone. Be really something else. That's the first arm gone. Keep going. Really, oh. oh, and he's lost the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five seconds on the clock. That's the Charlton crew. Let's go over to the scoreboard and see what the current standings are after that second challenge. OK, Team Perfection, they weren't so perfect on that last challenge. They scored zero points, but plus the two they got from the first felon, that makes they've got two points. The Charlton crew came second in that challenge. Even though they didn't complete it, they did manage to last 25 seconds, so we're going to award them the two points, plus the five from their first round. That means they've got seven. Then the Dream Team, they won this last challenge because they completed the level, but they had zero in the first challenge, so that means they got five. So, out in front at the moment is the Charlton crew with a big seven. Hooray! Well done, well done. So, Matthew, Captain, you were uh, team perfection. Weren't so perfect, were they? No, we tried the best. Tried your best? Yeah. Disappointed with the result, though? Just a bit. You played that last challenge, didn't you? Yeah, well, I never heard the game. And, uh, you didn't know so the game? Blame it on the game, really. Blame it on the game, yeah. really, but not on yourself. Well, I'm afraid it means you have to be ejected from the academy, don't they? Yes! Yeah. Will you usher these gentlemen out of the uh, premises, please? Off. Well, they've been ejected from the academy. We've still got two teams left battling out for a place in the championship semi final. We're going away for a little commercial break now, but do come back because afterwards we've got a bit of a celebrity challenge with a bit of uh, oomph in it for you. We've still got two teams battling out for a place in the championship semi-final. But before that, we've got a very special celebrity challenge where two members of our studio audience are going to get a chance to win a dream date with our very special celebrity guest. So, without further ado, let's bring her on. Please give a big Games Master cheer for the Games Mistress! <laughs> Now, Games <laughs> Mistress, you're no stranger to games, are you, really? Oh, Fletcher, you're so sweet. And you're right. I like nothing better than frolicking with my consoles. <laughs> oh, OK, well, if you'd be so kind as to choose out two nice strapping young lads who'd be lucky enough to win a dream date with you, should they win the challenge? Sounds like fun. Me! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What a choice, what a choice. Oh, you'll do. Yes, good man, in a hat. <laughs> that one. Who wants to be chosen? Who wants to be chosen? Okay. <laughs> Never mind, we missed out there. Okay, these are the two lads, are they? Let's find out their names, and your name is? Daniel. Daniel. Stephen. Stephen and Daniel. So, are you looking forward to winning a date with uh, the game's mistress? Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yes, and what about you? Definitely. Yes, definitely. Okay, then. So, you realise the winner of this challenge as well will also win the fabulous Games Master Golden Joystick? Yeah! yeah! Let's go over to the Games Master and find out exactly what this challenge is going to be. Oh, I suppose I do have to set a challenge in this poor excuse for the game's expert and their devilling fans. The game is lethal enforcers for the Mega Drive, where you must collect as many points as possible by shooting evil triads on the rampage in Chinatown. The winner of this dull date will be the contestant who matches or beats the game's mistress's score in the fastest time. 
Thank you very much, Games Master. Now the Games Mistress is at the console. She's getting ready. She's got five lives and 30 seconds to score as many points as she possibly can. We've got two contestants watching here, and what they're going to have to do is match her score as quick as they possibly can. There's no time limit for them. We just see what time they've got at the end. All right, Dave, now is this going to be a tricky challenge for these two guys? Anything they should watch out for? Well, it's going to be tricky. How tricky it is depends on how good the Games Mistress is, obviously. Mm. The thing to watch out for is reloading your gun, clicking off the screen, and make sure you've got bullets in your gun. And don't kill the civilians. Right, so don't kill no citizens. Are you ready, Games Mistress? Get underway. Start the challenge off, please. She's away. Blasting away. A screen blast. Screen. That's a Reload. She's got a policeman. She's oh, got no. Policeman. Look, That's a terrible thing. Shoot Look him. Look at the guy with the knives. The woman up in the window. 24. She's got the guy with the dagger in front of the guy for the window. Keep the going. Dagger out. He caught her. She's got him. 15 her. seconds. And again, that's two hits. She's taking it. Slash two again. Her lives are up in the top left hand corner. She's only got five of them. She's got two lives left. That's all. Those little stars in the top right corner of her lives. Don't shoot the chef. Don't shoot the chef. Don't shoot the old man. These two guys are going to have to match that score in the quickest possible time. The one who does that is going to win a dream date with her. So, guys, if you'd like to take your place down there, Steve, you're up first. Don't forget, you're going to have a watch, Daniel. All right? Yeah, go on. OK, Steve is at the console. He's ready. He's got to beat 46 in the quickest possible time. Stephen, start your challenge, because the clock's running. He's away. OK, Stephen's off. Plastic away. He's taking the knife, Maniac, already. He's managed to avoid shooting the police moment. Take out that knife, points. Maniac. You don't want to get hit. He's Ooh. taken one hit. And then you go to the top left hand corner. It's those Nearly stars. Don't score. forget. If those stars go down, he's going to die. There. Oh, he's taking out the woman in the red gone. dress. She's very tough because she's right by the police. 18. That's a good shot. He's gone. Come on, he's got to make the point. 20 seconds gone. His gun. It's full of bullets. Only trying to shoot the chest. But he missed, luckily. 48. There he is. Stop the channel. 25 seconds there for Stephen. Daniel's up next. He's getting ready. Daniel, are you ready? Yeah. OK, then. Start your challenge. Clock's running. Yes, Daniel's off. He He's shot away. the axe man. The knife man as well. He shot the woman up in the window. Twenty-four points very, very well. straight away. He shot the knife man that was going to get Excellent. it. He hasn't lost any power so far. Oh, there we go. Point. He's lost his first bit of power. Oh, he's losing oh, he points. shot the police. He's shot the police. He's been shot in the Shoot face. Him. He's been Quick. knifed. Shoot him. He's yes. been knifed again. He's only seven. got one life left. He's only got four points. He's Come shot the chef. He hasn't even got the four points now. He's been totally penalised. Take that guy out. The knife's going to hit him. It's all over. He died. The challenge. Really big time, didn't you? Yeah. Did you very well. Yeah, I think it was the gun. It was, it was terrible. The gun was dodgy, yeah. was it? Oh, yeah. Did you? Uh, did you find the gun dodgy, then, Steve? Because you no. won. No, not at all. No, no. Not at all. Of course you didn't. Easy. And that means also that you've won the fabulous Games Master Golden Joystick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Steve, and Gordon, it's great. And it only needs to be to ask the Games Master to take your young man away. Well done, Daniel. Though. Yes. Bye bye. Yes. In a few moments' time, we've got our two teams that are still battling out for a place in the championship semi-final. But while they get ready, why don't you relax watching the consultation zone? Hello. Who is the first to enter my fountain of knowledge? Games Master. I'm a bit rubbish on the Mega Drive version of Techno Clash. Can you get me further, please? Such a simple request should be greeted with a simple answer. At the start of the game, enter this code. 003-TL-AG2. You will be taken to the fourth level, the underground city, where you'll be given massive stocks of weapons to use on the abacus. This should breathe life back into your games playing. Thanks, Games Master. Keep them coming. Games Master, I've come across an injured shaman in the cemetery in Shadowrun, on the snares. What do I do? Ah, uh, this is an easy one. At the start of the game, pick up the slap patch in the morgue, but don't use it. Now, make your way back to the shaman, who's lying on the floor, not looking too well, poor chap. Use the patch on him, and he'll miraculously come back to life. You can now continue with your quest. How's that? That's just dandy, Games Master. Roll along. Who's next? Games Master, I'm crap at Alien 3 on the SNES. Can you help me? I can answer your call for help. Start the game, then hold down buttons A, B, Y, X on controller 2. 
Now still holding them down, Les Batonets, and rather splendidly be awarded with a full array of weapons. If invincibility is what you're after, then press button A on controller one instead. A group five. That's enough of my generosity. Bye for now. Okay, there you are. A few more people sorted out in the consultation zone. Right, we've got two teams left battling out for a place in our championship semi-final. We've got the dream team over here on my right. Yep. All right, dream team? Yeah. They've come mob handy, didn't you, Chris? Yep. From Camp Island, Castle View, we're the dream team. There's the dream yeah. team giving it the lights. Come on, hold up your banner. Yeah. We'll see your banner. Yeah. Yeah, the dream team. Well, where do you go, Godfrey? You're going to be playing this challenge, aren't you? Yep. Does that intimidate you, all this lot here hanging about? No. No? <laughs> no man. No worries. Yeah. Come on, let's get it going, lads. Come on, is it off? No. All right, lads. All right, lads. I'll hold them back. Right, now, look. Let's go over to the Games Master. Find out what this challenge is going to be. For my final challenge this evening, our contestants will travel deep into the land of make-believe for a best of three-round fighting contest on the Amiga beat-em-up Elf Mania. Smash your opponent to the ground with punches and kicks of the head and body, or pulverize them with the magic coins that are unleashed every time full contact is made. I shall have no truck with fairies on this game. Seconds out. So the game is Elf Mania. We've got Chris from the Dream Team and Godfrey from the Charlton crew. So are these two beat him up experts or what, Dave? Yeah, these two guys are very qualified for this challenge because Chris reckons he can do Mortal Kombat in 30 minutes without spending more than 15 seconds on each round. And, uh, and Godfrey can do Street Fighter 2 Turbo in 40 minutes on level 7 without losing a single round. We're in for one hell of a battle. So, we should be in for some hot battling action. The guys are at the console. Start your challenge. Off you go, guys. OK, the two guys are off. Godfrey what? is the she-elf on yeah. the left. Chris is the male elf on the right. We're called a girl elf shelf, I think. We're called a shelf, yeah. Shelf. Uh, now the thing to notice is when you come hit, on. when you hit your rival else, she'll stuck some little coins kick appear, down there. Come on, Godfrey! Kick those coins into your coins into your opponent. And the they'll do dream the same team are doing very well at the moment. That's Chris. They are doing very well. Have a little look at those energy bars because they tell you how much you're doing. And you can see that the shell oh, is actually Godfrey's losing it. Oh, she's taking an awful lot of blows. She's gone. Right, that's yeah. the first yeah. game to Chris. Second round's coming up now. The elves are ready. Elf and shelf are ready. Godfrey's got it all to make up on this one. Closer. We've not seen any special He's moves. Got to win this These round. Guys have got nice special moves. Stay in the spinning kicks and spinning roundhouses. We're Did not seeing any. Oh, she's there. She wants to get in there. He dazed her then. Godfrey's got to win this she's round. She's in the corner. She's in the Come on, corner. Godfrey, get out of the oh, corner. She's very well to get Back out of the corner. Back up. Let's see her come back. Like come she on. Was going to be history then. Oh, she's It's going to take just one good hit. Godfrey, man, do the business. One good hit, Chris. Good punch. Good kick. Oh, good retaliation. That's the first. This is very help he's taken off the elf. No, I thought she's gone. No, she's. Still in there, no, she's, she's still hanging in there. Him. That's Bang, it. That's, that's it. the end all of the battle. This is the dream team, Big Godfrey and Charlton crew in two straight rounds there. Pretty disappointing for the Charlton crew. Let's go and have a word with the teams down here, see what they're saying, shall we? OK, excuse me. Thank you. Oh, you're very quiet. All oh, very quiet. Oh, that last challenge stunned the crowd into submission. Uh, Godfrey, come in here. Chris, Chris. Line up. So, Godfrey, uh, it was a bit of a disaster, that challenge yeah. for you. What went wrong, mate? I played for a couple of hours, but I didn't get special moves out properly, so... No, not enough chance. breaths on the game? No. Well, unfortunately, you get blown out, I'm afraid, and that means that the Dream Team, with their leery bunch of lads... Yeah! Yeah! Off through. Are you yeah. pleased there, Chris, team captain? Yep, definitely. Surprised? No. No, no not at all. Yeah, Looking all forward the to the semi-finals. Yep. I'd like to thank the Canvey Posse and Paul Sider, yeah! our coach. Yeah! We'll be battling out for a place in the championship semi-final. So we're going to be back next week. We want you to be back next week as well. So, see you then. Bye. Yeah.